Hi everyone, this is Heather Lawton from the Flourish Academy, where our goal is to empower, educate, and elevate you to create a life that you love through the art and business of photography. In this video, we are going to use the spot removal tool in Lightroom to clean up unwanted items in our photo. But first, please make sure you check out our sponsor, YM Camera, for all of your photography needs. I've had my Fuji X-T3 for about four months at this point, and I have been loving it so far. And I also own the Fuji X100F. Now this is in addition to my older Nikon D700s and my Nikon D750. I'm still currently shooting with all of these cameras. My husband and I recently returned home from a trip to Punta Cana in the Dominican Republic, and I love this photo I captured, but there is some trash near the palm tree, and there's some people walking along the beach that I would like to remove. Now, I'm going to begin by applying Susie's new favorite preset, just because I like the way it looks on my photo, and I'm going to make a few really quick adjustments to that and take a look at the before and after. I just like the way... It sharpens and adds a little bit of contrast to the image. I'm going to access the spot removal tool by pressing Q on the keyboard. I'm going to zoom in at one-to-one -one on this image and let's begin by making the brush just a little bit bigger using the right bracket key. I'm going to just click and brush over this piece of trash and see where Lightroom grabs a sample and of course, it tends to grab samples from areas I'm not crazy about, but what you can do is just reposition the source for the sample, place it where you would like it, and then I would recommend maybe adjusting the feather a little bit to see where that blends in the best with the pixels around it. So I'm gonna pull up on this feather, and I think that that looks pretty good. Let's turn that off and then back on to see what that looks like. And I think that looks pretty good, keeping in mind we're zoomed in pretty far. Okay, so we have some people, that was easy, I thought. We have some people walking on the beach up here. I'm actually gonna zoom in a little bit further, three to one. I'm going to press my space bar in order to reposition my image. And I think this might get tricky just because of this positioning. So let's start with the person on the right. I'm going to make this brush smaller with my left bracket key. And let's, you know what, let's just see what happens if we do the entire person and look at the source. And what I'm doing now is repositioning this so that I can line up the waterline and the surf and if you'll notice here what's happening is if I line up the bottom line where the water is in contrast with the sand then the surf doesn't line up and if I line up the surf then the sand doesn't line up so that isn't going to work let's go ahead and press delete or backspace in order to get rid of that and I think I'm going to need to take this um, in components so let's start by brushing over the bottom part of her legs and then lining up that area. So that looks pretty good. Next, I'm gonna do the rest of her and try to line up some areas with the surf, both at the top and bottom there, just so that it looks pretty good. And I think that works pretty well. We can turn this adjustment off with the switch and then back on just to make sure we're headed in a good direction. I think that actually looks great. Okay, now the gentleman is going to be a little bit more challenging again because of the line of the tree. So I'm definitely gonna have to take this in components. And by the way, if you wanna explore the spot removal tool in more depth, I have an entire module dedicated to it in the online Lightroom workshop from the Flourish Academy. There are several videos where we explore all the intricacies of this tool because it's so powerful. Okay, so let's start by dropping the feather. You can adjust the feather in the slider or if you press shift right bracket, you will increase the feather and shift left bracket will decrease the feather. And I actually really don't want a feather on this edge. So what I'm gonna do is carefully drag my mouse over the edge of the tree right here. 
And then find a source that works that actually works pretty well. This source right here. Let me adjust this feather just a little bit. See if the feather is zero, you get that really hard edge. But if the feather is up at 100, it just starts to look a little unnatural on the edge of the tree. So I'm going to pull that down a little bit. Next, I'm going to brush over the gentleman. And I, you'll notice that I am actually placing my cursor over the previous adjustment. In other words, you can stack spot removal adjustments, which is really nice. So, okay, we have a source here. Let's see if we can line up some of this surf a little bit better. That looks pretty good. I probably, I see a line though, and that's because of the reduced feather. So let's go ahead and pull up on that feather and we start to see some unwanted areas, but maybe I'm being a freak. Chances are that's true. Let me zoom back out to fit this image and turn off the spot removal tool and you'll see the trash comes back, the people come back and turn that back on. And that looks really good. So again, I was zoomed in at three to one. I was being a pixel peeper and it really didn't matter. Now I do notice some people way down further on the beach. I think we can quickly remove them from the photo. So again, I'm zoomed in at three to one. I'm gonna make my brush a little bit bigger with the right bracket key. And I'm gonna be kind of well, I'm just not going to be precise with this adjustment or with my brush techniques because I don't think it matters at this distance. Lightroom did a pretty good job lining up those pixels. I think that looks good enough. So let's press Q on the keyboard to drop that tool, zoom all the way back out on this image and look at the overall before and after. Again, that's with Susie's new favorite preset and the spot removal tool. If you'd like to learn more about Lightroom, please check out the online Lightroom workshop and I'll see you in the next video.